The Member of Parliament, Tim Kamik, please welcome him. Uh, ni hao ma, wo jiao tong. Uh, that, that's pretty much the limit of what I know well in Mandarin, so I, I don't uh, do a poor job. Thank you very much for having me, and thank you for doing uh, this commemoration of 20 years. I actually, uh, when I got the invite to come out here, I, it has been 20 years, uh, 20 years of uh, persecution of Falun Dafa, Falun Gong, uh, both in the People's Republic of China, but also overseas. And I, I know that to be a fact, because I know I've had many uh, practitioners who've come to me and said that uh, the People's Republic of China's representatives in this country and followers uh, do continue the persecution. Uh, we know that the United Works Department of the PRC's uh, Communist Party continues it. I was born in a communist country, like many of you. I was born in Poland. Uh, Poland, thankfully, today is no longer communist and is a free market, liberal democracy where you're allowed to come and do this, allowed to protest. And it's a great part of being Canadian is that we are allowed to protest and be unhappy with how our government is doing different things. Um, and we're allowed to basically have our voices heard and organize ourselves in a, in a peaceful way. Uh, you call the resistance, I call the protest, but 20 years of persecution of a peaceful movement uh, speaks volumes to uh, the People's Republic of China and their leadership and how they have decided to use their valuable time over the past 20 years uh, in persecuting uh, Falun Gong followers. You know, up to a million people have been to prison camps or labor camps in mainland China. We know that one of the very worst camps was Masanjia, where people were persecuted, uh, people were murdered, people were tortured in that camp, where a documentary was made actually by a, a fellow Calgarian as well, a filmmaker right here from Calgary who helped make it. Uh, I hosted uh, the letter from Masanjia documentary showing um, on Parliament Hill so that other parliamentarians and senators could see with their own eyes and hear the story uh, of a real fallen Gong follower who was persecuted for his religion, eventually fled to Indonesia and was later murdered there by the regime. Uh, earlier this year, I uh, tabled a petition uh, on behalf of Sun Chan and 500 petitioners right here from Canada who are asking for the Canadian government to do more than what it's been doing so far, which is very little. We know that our relationship with China is very important to the Canadian government. It's the second biggest trading relationship that we have, but we shouldn't be romantic about it. We should face reality that this is not a regime that upholds human rights, that cares about democratic rights, or that cares about people's lives. And 20 years of persecution of a peaceful religious movement uh, should get everyone pause uh, for continuing such a relationship. Um, I'm probably one of those on Parliament here who was most outspoken. I've, I've spoken out about uh, the persecution of uh, Uyghur Muslims in the westernmost province of Zhejiang, uh, who are also being persecuted, just like Falun Gong, Falun Dafa practitioners are so again thank you for coming out thank you for being willing to tell the truth about the terrible human rights and religious rights situation in mainland china for standing up for your rights as human beings to be able to practice the religion the spiritual beliefs of your choosing of your choice uh, without having the government interfere in that uh, so thank you maple for having me here thank you all very much uh, uh, xie xie. and thank you for tom's long time support so in addition to him, we also receive uh, supporting letters from other politicians. So now we will read for you. It's from Honorable Deepak O'Brien. 